Hello there and welcome back to the Simon Trades channel. And if you're new to this channel, I am Simon Trades, or some people might call me Sim on Trades. Now a card is going to pop up off the screen right now because that's going to be Sunday's video when I went from Rugey Town Railway Station to Hooton, stopping off at Bates and Capenhurst. If you haven't watched that yet, please go watch that now. But if you watch that, today we are visiting the Ellesmere Port Branch and we are visiting the following stations along the way, which are the following Little Sutton. Overpool, Ellesmere Port. So we're just going on the Ellesmere Port branch because we're just going to fill some Class 507s and Class 508 electric multiple units on this branch before they go and get replaced by the Class 777 EMU, which is still not in service yet, but we don't know when they're going to be in service. And then after that, we are going back to crew because there will be a charter train, hopefully, at crew we're going to catch quickly before we head back home to Rugeley. So please come on board as we venture on the Ellesmere Port branch. But unfortunately, I have to be on the other side of the platform to catch my train. So I'm now on platform wallet two at Hooton Station. We are waiting for the 1227 Mersey to be able to service. That's going to take us to our first station, Little Sutton. And as I mentioned in the last blog, it actually has four platforms. You can just see that platform behind me, which is not electrified, that's for diesel trains. This one is a bay platform for terminating trains from Ellesmere Port, but I think they did actually use the terminator here from Hellsby at one point as well. And the two platforms over this side are in regular use at Hewton, with services from Ellesmere Port and Chester to Liverpool Central. They go around the loop and head back on themselves to either Ellesmere Port or Chester. So our train should be arriving now to take us to Little Sutton. services are not that busy today, but some are actually. The one we came up to Hutu was busy, but this is quiet. Mind you, it's good to have your own coach. The station we are now at is Little Sutton Station. This is a Mersey Rail station and it has two platforms and two Bay Quaid Station buildings. It has a Bay Quaid Station building on the Ellesmere Port platform and it has a Bay Quaid waiting shelter as well. Now also at one point at Ellesmere Port, because you used to get trains from Hellsby that went through to Hooton, I think some went to Rock Ferry as well. These were diesel multiple units before the line was electrified. And at this part of the line, you only get a 30 minute service between Ellesmere Port and Liverpool Central. We're going to have a look at some of the uh, facilities at this station, film some more trains, and we're also going to do the station history in Little Sutton as well. So 
let's see what Little Sutton has to offer. A full bridge, card reader, help point, ticket machine, three totem sides with Cheshire's best kept station, bin bags, and this wonderful waiting shelter on the Hooter Bound platform. Little Sutton Station was opened 1863 by the Birkenhead Railway. When it was opened it was named Sutton but it was renamed to Little Sutton in 1886. The station building is recorded in the National Heritage List for England and is Grade 2 listed. As of 2013 to 2014, Little Sutton is the least used station on the Merseyrail network and the three letter station code for Little Sutton is LTT. Now the next train we'll be taking is the 1332 which will take us to Overpool station for our hourly field at Overpool and have a look around there. So it should be coming in now to take us to our next location, our second station in this blog out free. So this is our next station we're filming at, this is Overpool Station. Not related to me by the way. This is a Mersey Rail station, it has two platforms. And we're looking in the Ellesmere Port direction. The other way if we turn round is that heading towards Little Sutton. So we're here just to fill some trays for the hour. Again it's only a half an hourly service. But then after that we are going into Ellesmere Port itself. Now when we get to Ellesmere Port, there is actually no northern services we'd be catching. It's just Mersey Rail services we'd be filming. So we're going to have a quick look at the facilities of the station, then do the station history and fill some more PEP EMUs at this location. Overpool Station was opened on the 17th of August 1988. And the three letter station code for Overpool is O-V-E. I tell you what, this uh, waiting shelter at Overpool actually reminds me of the waiting shelter at Halewood on the Liverpool South Parkway to Manchester Oxford Road by uh, Warrington Central Line. Ain't that white cowl? Indeed it does, Simon! has to offer but before we start it does have a ticket machine on the ramp to the Hootenbaum platform. We also have card readers, brick weighted shelters that look like the ones in Halewood railway station on each platform, help points and bin bags. So I'm just on the Liverpool bound platform for a second because I actually want to show you something because most of the Mersey rail stop boards for the class 777s have been covered up waiting for them to enter service, which we don't know where that's going to be yet. But at Overpool Station, there's actually one just here that's actually showing through this wrap. So there is an eight-car board here, so I think they're going to be running eight-car trains to Ellesmere Port from Liverpool Central. Well, that's going to be something interesting indeed, because the current units that we're seeing are only three coaches. And you put two together, it's six-car trains. But these are actually four coach trains, so an eight coach train on this line is going to be quite interesting to see. So 
So we soon go be leaving Overpool Station heading towards Els. My phone's ringing. Hang on a second. Let me just uh, answer this. I do apologise about this. Hello? Hello, Bromber Kate. How are you? Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you very much, Bromber Kate. do apologise about that, but as I was going to say, we will be leaving Overpool Station shortly because we are heading to Ellesmere Port. Now, Ellesmere Port is 3 miles and 44 chains from Hooton and it's the terminus of the Mersey Rail services. But it's also the starting point for the Northern services, but unfortunately we won't be getting any of them. But the plan is, when I get to Ellesmere Port, is to try and fill all the trains on the Northern bound platform and not on the Mersey bound platform, so I'll be out at Egwood's Way. So I'm going to see if we can do that or not. So our train should be arriving now, take us to the end of the line of this Mersey Rail branch line. Three miles and 44 chains from Hooton Station lies Ellesmere Port Station. This is a Mersey Rail station and it has two platforms. However though, the Mersey Rail units actually only use one of the two platforms and this is the one, the far one here, because they terminate with services from Liverpool Central. The platform that I'm standing on now is the Northern services and they terminate here from Helsby and Warrington Banquet which I think some might come from Manchester Victoria as well, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how the pandemic timetable is for this service, but at one point they actually had a service terminating here from Leeds. But there is a Northern service to terminate here, but it's not till six o'clock tonight, and I'm actually traveling from Chester, 1755 to head back to Crewe. So I won't be able to catch it. So we're only getting Mersey Rail units here, I'm afraid, but it is a lovely station to film at and even down the bottom it actually has set of four signals down here as well. So we're going to do the station's history at Ellesmere Port, fill some Mercy Rail units. We're going to have an hour and a half here because I'm going to leave here at quarter past four to head back to Hooton. See what Ellesmere Port Station has to offer. A ticket machine, which is closed, help point, a waiting room on the Mersey Rail platform. Let's see if it opens. Oh, it does open. Ticket office, which is closed, toilets, which are also closed, waiting shelter on the northern platform and cycle storage on the Mersey Rail platform. I'll tell you what, that station building at Ellesmere Port does look very quaint indeed. It reminds me of like um, some of the Staffordshire, North Staffordshire stations look like a Jacobean style building.
Osmia Port Station was opened on the 1st of July 1863 by the Birkenhead Railway. But when the station opened, it was named Whitby Locks. It was renamed to Ellesmere Port on the 1st of September 1870. Ellesmere Port became part of the Mersey Rail Network in 1994 when the electrification from Hooton was extended to Ellesmere Port. The three letter station code for Ellesmere Port is ELP. So our time is nearly up at Ellesmere Port Station. As I mentioned, we can't film any northern units because they are not around at the moment. But we are waiting for the train to arrive to form the 1619 to Liverpool Central. Because at Liverpool Central I will be changing trains at Hooton to get back to Chester. 55 minute wait at Chester. Don't really like it, but I really have no choice on that one. Because there's not a fancy West Coast train at 1735 take back to crew. So we are going back to Crewe, but then at Crewe, I did mention in the last blog, and I think I mentioned in this one, but too sure, but there is a charter train at Crewe that we're getting on the way back. Now this charter train is the Blue Portman HST. Now I did run about 55 minutes late this morning going to Carlisle, but we should be able to catch it at Crewe on the way back. If not, we're taking the train to Rooster Tread Valley, and we can catch it at Rooster Tread Valley on its way back to Broad's Bristol via Nuneaton, Leamington to Swindon that way to Bristol if it's taking a scenic route. So I'm going to leave now because I'm going to film my train arriving so we're going to board it and head back to Hooton. I'm waiting to board the train because they're just cleaning it at the moment. I have noticed something else being pulled, which I've only just seen. There is a disused bay platform here. I'll just zoom in now before we leave. We are now leaving Ellesmere Port and heading to Hooton. This is the 1614 Mersey series to Ellesmere Port by Liverpool Central. However, this clip I filmed was the full journey. And if you like to watch that, card is now going to pop up to show you the full journey of this journey at all. But we're going to cut it and we'll show you now riding into Hooton. So we're back at Hooton, we just got 10 minutes to wait for our train back to Chester. This is not one of the bigger ways, this is like a 15 minute wait here roughly, but the Chester wait is like 55 minutes. <laughs> what can I do in 55 minutes in Chester? After a change at Hooton, we're now en route to Chester and we'll show you arriving into Chester right now. And once at Chester, we're going to change trains on the 1755 to Crewe to catch that Blue Portland HST. So I made it back to crew, we are waiting for the Blue Portman HST. Now the good thing is, and this is when you say, I love it when a plan comes together, even though there was no plan. The Blue Portman HST is coming on platform 11. There's a 350 right here. This is my train to Rooster Tread Valley, just sitting right here on platform 12. So as soon as the Blue Portman HST leaves, just jump on that and then go. 
Anyway, let's see that blue pub at HST. So we now made it on the 1833 to Northampton which stops at Bruce Tread Valley. Now I think we've got to wait for Pentadero to be first before we can make our journey. Now the interesting thing will be if we can get ahead of this Blue Pullman HST at Bruce Tread Valley. I don't think it's going to happen but it would be nice if it did happen because it would make it interesting and we could see it flying through Bruce Tread Valley again even though I've got it through Bruce Tread Valley so many times. So we just have to wait and see if we get it or not. But I don't think we'll get it to be honest with you. But we'll just see how it plays out. Because it did leave at 1831. This is supposed to leave at 1833. But I think it's 1834 now. Because we have to wait for a pedilo to pass before we can pass. So we'll see. Mind you though, if the doors are locked, we could probably go. No, the door's still open. So we're waiting here. But at least we got that five minutes at Stafford so we can make it up. So we're now pulling into Stafford. Now the Blue Pool with the HST has got in front, so that'd be passing through Rooster Trap Valley before I get there. As I mentioned, it was expected, but we only hope and pray that it was going to happen, but so we are pulling into Stafford, which is our only calling point that we're stopping at before Rouge Tread Valley. And then we'll get off of Rouge Tread Valley to catch the 1918 to Rouge Town. And then that's it. End of the journey. So you can see that I do actually have a hat, but um, I've taken off while we're doing the outro for this video because I'm going to talk about today's video and it was, well, it actually went successful to be honest. Because we started at Hooton, they went over to Little Sutton. Now the only thing that I saw at Little Sutton was, was that the senior conductor of the Mersmail unit wasn't happy that was filming him off the train. Well, to be fair, I was actually in the way, like I said, so I didn't know that station very well, so fair enough. I was actually in the wrong, I should have actually gone a bit further, to be honest. But after that, we went to Overpool. That stage was alright, but it was a bit too hedgy on the western end, to be honest. That's why I moved onto the other platform when the six-car train came in. And then after that, we went to Ellesmere Port. We had actually an hour and a half there, because so we'd get a decent amount of trains filming there. But I think up to Ellesmere Port we were successful, no hiccups apart from like I said at Little Sutton. And then went over to who to change trains back to Chester, to change trains back to Crewe. Did, did get the Blue Port with HST at Crewe and it did left on time but we left about six minutes late. And unfortunately we did not get it Rooster Tread Bay but that was expected because it was expected past 1850 seven and we were supposed to be due at 1905 which is fair enough to be honest They're understandable and then after well we just wait for this train to leave now so it has really been a successful side trains railway journey to Ellesmere Port and it's also on a Sunday video been successful to get to Hooton so there's been no hiccups to be honest I keep saying that word over and over again I'm gonna have to have a t-shirt one day say to be honest but now it's time to end the video, so feel free to give this like, subscribe, feel free to leave a comment down below, we're looking forward to hearing your comments. 
and this blog will be terminated at Rougie Town Railway Station with this 350 leaving. So thank you for trying with Cyber Trades. I'll see you for the next Cyber Trades Railway journey very soon. Take care, stay safe. I think we're about to leave. Yes, we are about to leave. So I'm going to join my three minute journey to Rougie Town.